Now you, it's my birthday. What you buy me? What you buy me for my birthday, lady? Right? What do you make? What did you tell you? If you didn't give me. <laughs> what did you tell you if you have no idea what I'm talking about? <laughs> what did you tell you if you're a dog? But there's something holding on in the way of being long gone. Yeah, I guess. Watching this today could be my birthday. Maybe I'll watch it again in 12 months' time when tomorrow will still be my birthday. How are you going, everyone? My name is Jared. I am from Wheelchair Anywhere. Thank you to my subscribers who understood why I had to give a week off last week because I'm currently working on a feature film. And the last two weeks have been quite crazy. But I'm back now and I just want to say thanks for all your understanding and still watching my videos even though it was two weeks in between. Today I thought I might talk to you about the 12 months since my last birthday to now and kind of have a bit of a check-in with where I'm going, what I'm doing and how I feel about what I'm doing. And also have a look at Instagram and the way we should, the way I have been changing up my Instagram to make it look more of a portfolio kind of platform that people can go to to see my work. Because even though I do YouTube and film, photography is still massive on my list of things that are important to me. I love taking photos. I take so many photos. I've been taking so many more photos in the last couple of months. So I've been switching up the way I've been doing my Instagram. It was more of a personal one and now I'm changing it into more of a place where I could gain work and people can go and have a look at my style of photography and all the things that I use and how I use them. So we're going to talk about that. I'm not quite sure how many subscribers I had before my last birthday but I've, I've got a lot more now and I'm pumped. I've been just thinking about the last 10 years of where I've been from you know, where I am now and 10 years ago I was living in Melbourne I was having my 21st birthday and I was just a young kid you know and I go into clubs and doing drugs and drinking too much and spending too much money and I was thinking about this the other day and I was at, at first I was at Gee, that was such a waste of time and money. I spent so much money on going out and alcohol and stuff. And, and like I spent thousands of dollars. And I enjoyed myself going clubbing and stuff because music is also a big part of my life. And I enjoyed dance music back then. I still enjoy it now, but not as much my um, my music tastes have changed a fair bit in the last 10 years and apart from a very few people, my friend Sam who's my best mate at my wedding, 
apart from her and a few other people, I was hanging around people that were quite toxic to me. And when you hang around toxic people and you don't know who you are, and you're kind of just going with what feels right at the time, it's really, really hard to develop growth. And I was DJing at that time, but I didn't really have a bigger plan. Social media wasn't what it was today, so there wasn't that instant feeling of community. Communities have grown a lot on social media in the last 10 years. I was one of those people who were posting their feelings every two minutes on Facebook. And so I wasn't really... It was hard for me to work out what I wanted to be when I didn't know who I was at the time. And so over the last 10 years, things have changed and changed again and changed again. And I feel like even if I did have all the knowledge that I have now back then and all the... Yeah, I'm in a pretty financially stable place position and more so the self-confidence if you gave it to me back then I think it would have been wasted because I didn't actually know what I was going to do or what I'm doing and maybe I still don't but since picking up the camera and starting YouTube I've never felt more natural in doing what I'm doing. So if you're following me on Instagram, and you really should be following me on Instagram, you can find me at Jared underscore Marinon. And if you've been following me the last couple of weeks, you will be noticing that I've been posting a lot more high quality photos and often series of photos of where I've been. Back where I went to, I went to Murray's Beach in New South Wales. I went to Newcastle, I went to Tugra. I always go to Tugra, but I posted a series of photos in Tugra. I posted a black and white series. And if you have a look at my Instagram, you will see that if you scroll down, it kind of makes sense. And you kind of get an idea of, okay, this guy is a photographer or something to do with images. And he has style and he has poise and things like that. And that will gain you followers as well as hashtags and things like that. Also, up the top here, if you go to Air Profile, you'll be able to choose your category of your business information. So I haven't put my email in because I don't really enjoy emailing, but if people want to direct message me, they can. So I just put that I'm a photographer and videographer, and that's really important so people get an idea of who you are and what you identify yourself as. The last photo I posted was of a bird looking at a wall. It's quite colourful. And that was at Tugra, and I posted that this morning. So what we'll do now is, because I have another photo at Tugra, I'm going to post that too. It's around the same area, and I'm going to use the same um, style palette to link in with that photo of the bird even though it's quite different because that way you'll be able to use the same hashtags and um, talk about the same thing while people will be able to see on you for your profile that there's some consistency with the photos. The bird photo is so I can break up from coming from Newcastle to back home again. So the bird photo is to break up the sequence of photos. Even though it's a little bit different in colors, it's still on the same page. So let's do that now. So I'm going to choose the photo. I'm not going to edit it in Instagram because I hate some of the filters in Instagram. I think they're pretty terrible. So this was taken yesterday, but no one needs to know that anyway. Because my content is 
photo base. I want these photos to be somewhat timeless so anyone can go and look in them and see a photo and it will tell the story no matter what time you are viewing it. I'll just say things like on top of news. I'll just put on top of the retail roof or world. Go and have a look and see what I put at the end. So this photo was taken at Wakefield Tugra. So the first people I'm going to tag is Tugra and then Wakefield Tugra. And then I'm going to use, because I took this photo with my iPhone, I'm going to use all the iPhone photography hashtags, iPhone photography iPhone XR, things like that. And so when you take, when you have photos and you link in with communities over and over again, it will establish that you're actually serious. You're not just a one-off type of photographer or you're just not visiting for the day and you'll never be there again. If you visit these places, and you connect with these communities over and over again, maybe often they will see you and be like, hey, you know what, let's have a look for photographers in New South Wales or in Tugra or in Melbourne or wherever. And let's look for landscape art. And so these are the things that people might look for when searching for a photographer on Instagram. I'm not there yet, but I'm trying to post three times a day. That's a lot. So in the morning, around midday, and then at night. I'm trying to take photos that represent that time of day. So in the morning, I might take a sunrise photo or a photo of coffee or something to do with a morning routine. In the middle of the day, I might take you know, a photo of a traffic jam or nature or a portrait. So I suppose what I'm doing in the night time, that might be the time when I take a photo of traffic lights so people can feel like they're on their way home or they're going out somewhere or an evening meal or going to the movies or something like that. And so if I know it's a big thing to think about, and I'm not saying you have to think about all of these all the time. It's good if you can. But if you just keep a few of these tips in mind, that will be incredible work. So, I hope you enjoyed this video. I am so thankful for your company over the last year. Since I've been 30 and 31 now, I can't wait to see what happens in the next 12 months. I'm so excited and I hope you are too. If you like what I do and you do what I like, remember to follow me on Instagram and subscribe. And if you like this video, give it a like and leave me a comment and I will see you in the next one. Happy birthday! I want you to know I love you. I love how kind you are. I love how you teach me. I love everything about you and hope and hope everyone sees how beautiful you are, just like I do. I don't wanna seem to shake you. Oh no. Like I'm sudden but I'm steady.